Hey there peeps, Mimi here and welcome back to Dragalia Lost and today I am going to talk to you about the loyalty requiems rewards and how to get them and how does this exchange system work because it does differ to some of the other gacha games that I've played and I was a little confused at the beginning so I'm like let me share this with other peeps. So as you know you can get uh, two different things so you can get the little tablets that will allow you to do blazon summons that allow you to get Pele or the Worm Print, um, which is this one, which is, you know, Paladin Defender. It, it's very nice and also it goes well with the event because it does extra damage to the boss. So that's pretty good. And apart from this, we, you know, so there is different stuff in this. So you do get tablets and you can draw from this. You can get random items from the box until you get. Um, the worm print or Pele then you can reset the box and actually if you still have Pele in your box as soon as you get Pele you can reset the box I mean you do get more opportunities to get the worm print you know especially later on so you can have a second maximum bounded if you wanted to it's totally something that you could do and hey I mean you can get extra damage so hey no one's complaining but you know the other thing you can do is you can collect emblems you can collect emblems just doing the boss mission, also the raid one, and you know, in standard raid you can get, you know, the silver ones, and the expert one, you could do get some, you know, silver and some gold, but if you get the special one, oh my gosh, the drops of gold in that one is amazing, so, just saying. But, you know, um, as I was saying, uh, <laughs> the way that this works is actually you collect all of these rewards, uh, you get um, these emblems, there's bronze, silver, and gold, so as you can see I, can, I have a semi-balanced amount, mainly because I've not done the ones with bronze anymore, um, just because I don't need any more. And originally I thought, well, okay this one requires three, so for the other world framing, so I click accept and I'm gonna lose some, you know, emblems, so I was trying to be strategic about what I bought. But as you see, my number of emblems did not change. So it means that really, to collect all of the bronze rewards, you only need 500 of the bronze emblems. To collect all of the silver rewards, you need a thousand. I'm not there yet, but you know, I have six days. For the gold one, you do need 6,000 to collect all the rewards. I mean, that that is definitely a higher tier trying to get things done but you know it is totally possible that I know somebody that killed the special boss by themselves uh, well actually they had like 15% left so they're almost there in doing it by themselves and like that is amazing and so I, I'm just amazed at what all of y'all can do it's really cool I mean I'm not there yet but I will be one day maybe and <laughs> so we're going to just kind of go through the rewards that we have here and especially collect the ones that I can. You can click the take all button, which will take all. I don't want to click it right now because I don't want it to like miss anything. But we know we have some blazons that allow you to do the summons, other world fragment, another the rim print, some bronze whetstone, we have some bronze crystal, we have some dragon fruit, and also just make sure it, like it's going to your goodie box. So we have some holy water, eld water. The eld water is always nice. We got some monies. We always need the rubies. Mana never, you know, hits our bad spot. The blazon summons. We have some bronze whetstone. So like this level really is like just kind of the lower tier rewards. Uh, but I mean, there is eld water here, and you know. I was like, how do you exceed Eldwater? Um, <laughs> but like, you know, these definitely do come in handy, um, especially to be able to do more summons and you know, collect all the things. Da, da, da. And as you see, like right here when we hit 200, things changed over to the le second level of the rewards. We have silver crystals now, less, you know, silver best water. Other world fragment and the first summon voucher, which I got because you know I've been trying to get Lily, and we both know that if you saw my summon video, which I will leave in the link of the description of this video, you know that she doesn't love me, and you know that was unfortunate. 
So, you know, that was all the bronze rewards. Oops. That was all the bronze rewards. I can't click, you know, take all anymore. And now we're down to the silver one. For the silver ones, I can collect up to 500, um, which is right here. This concentrated water. So this is where I am. And we have the dragon fruit, pond defender. So crystals, gold crystal, elder water, blazons, another copy of Pele, and King Knight's Testament. This is very important. When you see the Knight's Testament and the Champion's Testament, go for them. You need these to be able to unlock um, things in the Mana Circle. So these are very important. Definitely get them. If you don't, you know, even if you're not going to like the end of these, definitely go for some of the material like the blood and the um, Python ashes, um, which, you know, restores six gather wings. You know, there's definitely a lot of stuff like me even the honey you can you know restore some steam and I like a lot of these things especially things that allow you to craft new weapons everything in here is like very good so I'm gonna click take all just because I want to see how it works oh it just says I've accepted all rewards oh. so I'm glad we went through what I was getting because I just have everything now. and I just have from 500 to a thousand needing to do. So I will be doing those. And on the gold side, the twinkling sand is, you know, is definitely very important because it's material uh, to craft weapons. So I might go a little bit more deep. The sunlight ore, you do need several of these to be able to craft the item that you can use to to unbind. So if you actually go to the item shop. And you go to treasure trade, I believe, and it's treasure trade. So sunlit stones. So you need ten of these to create a stone that allows you to unbind a five-star dragon by one stage. So if you have a five-star dragon and you only got one copy of it, and you want to be able to unbind it, you can collect these sunlit um, sun or sunlit orbs. Sunlit, right? Sunlit. I'm like now by like, confused with yeah, sunlit. Not sunlight. Sunlit ores, um, and once you have ten of them, you can create the, the greater stone, which will allow you to unbind a five-star dragon, which is pretty awesome. And you know, so at least for me right now, I can collect the champion's testament, which I told you this is something you should totally go for. And you know, we have some you know evolved materials, sunlit ore, gold crystals, more blazon summons, and more honeys, like, all, all the stuffs. And you know another night. So we're gonna take all that I can, which is great. I do have a good chunk more to go, which we'll get to. But you know, I did want to talk about you know you don't lose your emblems. You can collect everything possible. And you know, I'm gonna continue doing plays on summons because not because I actually want the win print. Even if I were to get the win print, I would still continue summoning because I want all the material. There's so many. You know, all these wings, you need them to craft weapons. And I just, you know, did the math about, you know, unbinding a level 3 um, tier 5, or actually tier four, uh, 5, well, I mean, 5 star, 4 star, 3 star, any of the ones you want to do, you need, you need a lot. A lot, let me tell you. Because, you know, to unbind a level 1, you need 5 copies of the level 1. Love, you know, and bind a level two, you need 25 copies of the level one. For level three, you need 25 copies of the level two. So, as you can imagine, you need a lot of materials, especially these wings and everything, to be able to max out a five star weapon. And, you know, actually, any star weapon, you need a lot of material. A lot of experience to be able to do all of them and it, and you know I don't think it's meant to be easy because I mean the, some of these weapons are very nice very OP and you know especially combined with the correct characters but you know it, it's it's definitely giving you a lot of things to do in the game and you know you're not you can't expect to be strong you know one moment to another oh and you know I did get her so as you can see I did get the wear print and it won't let me reset it. That's great to know. So you can only reset this box until you get all the contents. I am currently 
halfway through the box at 422. So that's good to know because I this is the first box I do that doesn't have Pele. So you do have to clear out this box apparently before you can reset it. Yeah. So, you know, if I would have read the, the note as well, I would have said that too. But, you know, just collecting all the things and I'm actually out of Blaze and Summons, but that's okay. We've, you know, we've collected a lot of things and if you stayed until the end of this video, I appreciate your support. I really do. I mean, I don't say my luck is the best. I, yeah, my luck is the best. I do currently have enough to do two summons, but I'm still debating on whether I do those summons, like, during the banner or not. Because you know, as I've been told repeatedly in the comments, my luck is terrible. <laughs> my luck is terrible, but that's okay. I mean, I take it as stride because I did get Phoenix, I did get two Leviathans, I did get a lot of stuff, and you know, maybe I'll use these two and I might get, you know, Lily. Maybe. Who knows? I mean, right now, I need to summon six more times before I get increased rates, so. Maybe I'll, you know, do single summons every day and then do a 10 summon. I don't know. But I am not letting that let me down. Because, honestly, I, not, me not getting Lily has let me focus on other units in my game, which is fine. And one day that I get Lily, I'm going to be very happy. But we never know. Tomorrow, we might get a new unit that is, like, actually has a polar bear and then my heart is dying. So... We just don't know what's gonna happen in this game so far and you know I did think it was cool that I, I didn't really know more of side games games and apparently Lily's a character that they have in several of their games so that's kind of cool I really like that um, but anyways this has just been talking about the rewards that you can get for loyalties Requiem just kind of clarifying that you don't lose your emblems I mean maybe you've already done this and you know you already know this or maybe you're like me and we're trying to hoard as many emblems before even trying to collect something. Because that's totally what happened with me. I just like, I was trying to get the highest summon reward and once I did, I got the summon ticket and, and I was like, oh, I don't lose any of these emblems. But hey, maybe you don't hoard it and you just automatically try to take all the things. That's cool too. Everybody has their own way of playing this game and I just do it my way. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching thank you for being awesome let me know in the comments below have you collected all the gold emblems or are you just focusing on silver or bronze let me know and until next time meow to meow